Healers and the Inner Light. I got into a friendly debate this past week about what healers actually do when they're healing someone. My friend insisted that healers have the ability to, quote, send energy, end quote, to others, and that energy from the healer is what causes healing in another. Although I'm sure this happens in some cases, my contention was that if the energy sent by the healer was not recognized by the healee, then the effect would be temporary or non-existent. My friend said, well, how do you explain Reiki or Qigong? I said, these energies are recognizable as being a part of the subject's own energy field, so they have an effect. There can be no healing from an external source unless the individual being healed is accessing their own Reiki or Qigong energies. The healer merely acts as a resonant reminder. Well, she nodded blankly, so I figured either she hadn't thought about it in this way or disagreed, but (laughs) we just left it at that. We all have access to our own inner light that, if acknowledged and directed, is the true source of any healing. From a non-dualistic perspective, if there is something to be healed, that requires a pre-existing means to heal it from the same agency noticing the need for healing. It's simply the dualistic nature of disease. The disease and the cure exist together, just as within every problem is the solution. In Alice Bailey's classic manual, Esoteric Healing, she makes the point that unless the patient desires healing at a soul level, no matter what the healer does, it will have little or no effect. This is because no outside agency can force energy on another unless they accept or desire it, either consciously or unconsciously. The only truly active principle in a healer's work is the ability to simply be. And by being, the healer activates or stimulates the beingness of their client. That beingness is the healing inner light. Because basically everything we perceive and beyond is energy, or different frequencies and or densities of light, then by observing our own inner light, right there we have the means to heal any aspect of our lives. Things do get stuck. They go unconscious, get ignored, or we go into denial about them. There are any number of ways to shut off or deflect our own inner light. One of the most effective ways to turn away from the light is to assign external causation. It is simple to be victimized by an assumed attack against us. The ego cries out in accusations as feelings of hurt, rebellion, and revenge wash over us, darkening our light. By simply allowing these attacks or distortions or incoming darknesses, like clouds in the sky, they then can float by as we remain shining in our own inner light. In my case, what has tripped me up repeatedly is the sheer volume of unconscious, habitual, monkey-minded shenanigans incessantly poured out by my ego. There isn't a day or hour that goes by where I don't catch myself feeling deflated, attacked, frustrated, or victimized by my own interpretations of what's going on around me. This is the sneaky ego busy at work making sure it's the only thing in the universe that has a right to exist. After years and years of buying into these ego shenanigans, the negative energies begin to be embodied and reflected in the physical body as ailments, discomforts, and diseases. From there, it's easy to eventually become desperate to find something out there that will bring some modicum of relief. This leads to popping painkillers, herbs, and elixirs and the futile hope of pain-free body. Our attention gets fixated on finding the cure out there and the instant gratification of relief rather than simply sending in the light brightly, persistently, and consistently. Not that I have anything against these nostrums. I sell them, for God's sakes. What I do have against these things is using them to replace my own healing light. I have found over the years that these healers, plant, mineral, animal, extraterrestrial, spiritual, energetic, or human, can have no real or lasting effect on my pain and suffering without the parallel application of my own healing light. By using these nostrums with the light, you have two quantum points that will then collapse the wave of disease over time. 
A healer is only effective as their ability to stir or invoke the acknowledgement of inner light in their clients. And a remedy, elixir, herb, or potion only works when the consumer of it can access the pre-existing light the remedies are designed to summon. In the spirit of this article, try this short meditation. Take a deep breath and clear the mind of chatter. Move the attention to the heart area of the body. Notice light emanating from this energy center. Notice light shining out from all the organs and joints of the body. Notice light dancing and circulating throughout the body. Direct the light to any area of your life in need of repair. Just make the light your most intimate and dearest friend. After all, it is you, and just like you, it's infinite and invincible. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX. www.pureenergyrx.com.